welcome back. We actually just finished moving all of our stuff. We're staying at a KOA campsite in Cassini, Orlando area. So it was really close to the launch. And then we had a problem. <laughs> Look at that, I can actually show you because it's still happening. Drew's fifth wheel is leaking. <laughs> here and here um, we called and they told us that it was a very common problem for newer fifth wheels and we're very grateful that it's leaking or flooding of any kind inside of the rv so that's good we have to take it into the camping world here in kissimmee and the only day that they could take us was tuesday <laughs> so instead of flying out on sunday like we had originally planned now we have to stay an extra few days and long story short we had to come to a different koa because they couldn't accommodate our stay you guys remember that funny story that I told y'all where the fuel gauge on Drew's truck was just like completely dead and I took it in? The Chevy dealer, she said it would never happen again. It happened. Again. I am actually headed to Jacksonville, where you guys, most of you know that I'm from. Hopefully I don't have any issues on the road. As long as I don't look down at this dash, I'm fine. Oh my gosh! The dang check engine light is on again! Y'all seen the movie Money Pit? This, every time something like this happens, I swear, <laughs> this is a brand new truck. Every time something like this happens, I just think of that movie and I'm like, it could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs> Finally. So I had put my flowers here in the passenger seat. Should have probably taken the water out of the roses. Play a lot colder here than I thought it would be. Oh, it feels good to be home though. Oh, yes. Is it just me or is like the first thing you do when you go to your parents' house is check the fridge? Because that is exactly, this is worse than I thought. What is happening around here? Yogurt? Apples? My mom's been on this diet lately and she's been trying to eat healthy. I mean, it's like birds live here, like freaking seeds everywhere. Oh, she has my calendar up. She's so cute. Weird because I never really liked mint chocolate chip growing up, like the flavor itself, but this is amazing. When you want something sweet, man, that's good. Put my warrior paint on. shoes. I didn't bring shoes that match this outfit. So like from here up, it looks great. Shoes, not so much. Makeup doesn't look bad. Thank you, YouTube. Only watched like eight different YouTube tutorials on how to do a winged eyeliner. <laughs> We're attempting to make a steak like a Drew showed us on like a skillet. And I come downstairs and it's a freaking Room. <laughs> That's a lot. 
Bueno, tenemos 7 minutos hasta que mi carne esté lista. Ellos ya están enfriándose. Vamos a jugar un juego mientras pasamos el tiempo. Obviously horrible, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I think the smoke actually gave it a little extra something. It's officially Monday. I was gonna stay till tonight and have dinner with my family, but Drew keeps talking it up, telling me that he is at this lake with Keith and the bass are spawning, that he's seen multiple on beds, um, and he hasn't touched them and he knows exactly where they're at. Um, so hopefully I can catch one. I got up super early. Sorry if y'all can't see me, it's pretty dark out here. I'm loading up the truck really quick and I am gonna head out. Two hour drive to Orlando. Times it wouldn't be a trip to mom's house if she, she didn't walk me to the car in the morning. <laughs> Decided for all intents and purposes, after everything that's happened with this truck, she shall be named Karen. I go, I haven't touched her at all since I've been with my mom. So it's been like a day and a half where I have not even turned her on. And this morning I turned her on and as you can see, um, it now appears that she has decided to bless me with a full tank of gas, but the check engine light is still on. Well, Karen got us here. <laughs> got me here. <laughs> Looks like their boat is ready. I wanted to be known that I got up at 6 a.m. because somebody told me we were going fishing early. It's 10 a.m. Well, the thing is I have to get rods ready for two people. Not saying that you can't get Oh, why is, why, why is this not to just turn it around on me? Because I can't be at fault. Odds that I'm actually able to catch a fish over four pounds today. 60. Positive. I can't guarantee that you're going to catch them, but I'll catch them. I'll try to get you. I got one that should be on a bed that's giant. I didn't touch her. I'll let her for you. That's I don't know if she's still there, though. We'll see. Okay. Close. Amy, look at this thing coming up. Mm -hmm. right here. Is it a statue? Yeah. It's an ape. Yeah. I think they call it a gorilla. What's but the difference not. between an ape and a gorilla? I don't know, it's a good question. What is the difference between an ape and a gorilla? <laughs> After a lot of trial and error, we started using these frogs on top of these lily pads, and I think Drew's got two so far actually on the boat. I just missed, totally just missed, I think three that hit it. The first one was like, a, like totally my mistake. I got too excited and just literally ripped that thing out of, I don't even think he tasted it. The second two, I don't know, I honestly, the, the third one, I I don't know what happened. I think I, I, I let it sit for, for a couple seconds and he just still didn't take it, so. I don't know. One of the many things I missed about Florida, Publix. Oh, I got something. Trophy. I'm thinking of like all the winter activities by my house. Like I was saying, you can go sliding or ice skating. That'd be hilarious. They don't have any of that shit in Texas. Redneck. Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. They're eating that. They're not eating the swimming worm. Good job. There we go. There we go. 
<laughs> this awesome. makes me happy. Makes me happy. Did not get skunked today. And you caught your first one on a frog like that. Thanks, buddy. That makes me so happy. Look at you, just frogging it up. I didn't get skunked, y'all. Honestly, I'm good to go now. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to keep fishing. <laughs> it's kind of like crazy that we've been out here all day and I've only managed to catch one fish, but I caught my first fish on a frog, which is pretty cool. And it was like right next to the boat, which is pretty awesome. So I'm proud of myself. Like every time I come out with Drew, there I never actually like catch him as like well as I think I'm gonna do. Well, I mean that's fishing, I guess, but I think we're making an improvement. Today I actually got a fish in the boat and I missed a couple fish, so they're definitely out there. He also missed a couple. It was still super fun. This is really new fishing for me, so every time I go out with him is literally like a new lesson on pitching and flipping and every single bait you have to know how to maneuver and it's just different. It's just so different and then the bite is completely different. I mean, sometimes you just have to let him take it and I think that's going to be the hardest thing for me just because I'm just so used to just automatically like setting the hook as soon as they as soon as I see them eat it. Um, and that was why I missed like two at the beginning. He told me like literally five minutes before I actually got one, wait, like give him like count to two and then set the hook. <laughs> what I do, <laughs> the total opposite. Um, but he's a pretty good teacher. I think that it'll only get better, hopefully. Thanks for watching y'all.